Okay. Hi, my name is Charlie Lyons. I'm from Christchurch. And I grew up skiing in the Canterbury region. And then a uh, natural progression from Mount Hutt eventually took me to the club fields. And now I consider Mount Olympus as my home ski field. I'll defend you from the I grew up skiing in, uh, in Canterbury. I um, spent about 10 years ski racing, which was a really good you know, develop my skill set. And then eventually stopped ski racing, stopped enjoying expressing myself around gates and around lycra and start to ride park. And then made some friends through doing that and then naturally progressed from skiing park to Big Mountain, which was my true calling. And I've been there ever since. So this year I am involved in the chill series in a capacity that is not my usual role as an athlete, but this year I am judging and the advisor for the Fair Rugby Tour. So that's a bit new to me, but I've spent some time in the Northern Hemisphere judging the FWQs there with Dion Newport. And this year in the chill series there's been some changes to the judging system and the way that the judging system works. So previously it was just based on an overall impression and then when um, the US Free Skiing Tour and the Freeride World Tour combined to make the Unified, unified Freeride World Tour, they've taken both judging systems and tried to combine it. So the way it works now is it's still based on an overall impression but we're looking more towards the five categories that make up that. And we're scoring those categories to come up with our overall impression. But it's the overall impression is, is more dominant than each individual category. So those five categories that we're looking at now that makes up the overall impression is your fluidity, your control, your ear and style, your technique and your line. So with all of those categories, we now, that's how we get to our overall impression and we're writing notes and we start the scoring at five or 50 out of 100 and it's like a, it's like a speedometer. So if you're working down the mountain and you're jumping off cliffs and you're earning points and if you're making mistakes or you see a weak line, then you're losing points. So that's probably the easiest way to describe it, but the key, you know, Areas that make up your overall impression for me as a judge will be your control, your line choice, and your ear and style. And basically everything else kind of takes care of itself. But, you know, as an athlete for me, when I'm skiing, I like to think that when I'm having the most fun is when I'm going to ski the best, and it's when I'm going to score the best. And that's definitely been proven to myself over the last year. So I think it's all the athletes out there go out and have as much fun as you possibly can. Don't overthink the judging system and it'll take care of itself. Over the last couple of years, I looked at Sam Smoothie and Neil Willeman making FWT and it made me realise that it was attainable and having events like the Chill Series was a great stepping stone for competing internationally and that's what the Chill Series is. It's, a, it's an amazing stepping stone for young athletes to nurture their talent and get experience before they go and compete on the international scale so that you know I always credit the Chill Series and the other events in New Zealand for where I've got to today. Competing internationally it's it's quite a lot different to home it's um, I mean obviously FWT is a massive massive million dollar business that has got money pumping through it through from every possible avenue from ESPN and Eurosport to sponsors to media coverage and it's it's really nice actually competing in New Zealand it's relaxed it's just you know you know pretty much everyone there's more and more people now coming from overseas and and competing in New Zealand is it's chill it's awesome and 
every year I compete overseas, I come back to New Zealand, I'm like, I'm going to have a winter off, and then all of a sudden I'm doing the Halley Challenge, or I'm doing Free Ski Open, or I'm doing the Chill event, or I'm doing it all. And, and that's just testament to how much fun it is. It's not necessarily about going out and trying to win, it's just because it's fun, and your friends are there, and everyone's having a good time together. And That's actually just what the clubbies are, right? Fuck the clubbies are sweet. They're so sweet. <laughs> they are. Like, I, it takes me coming to Wanaka to realise how awesome the club fields are, and you're probably not going to use that, but you should. Because it's way better than... And they must... Yeah. Do you enjoy it down here? Or do you enjoy Canterbury more? 